competition's three days away, but the locals are already buzzing about Playa Linda's first annual Pro-Am Surf Thank Tournament. You. Hey! Keep talking, huh? Keep the little town gets its very own surfing tourney. Yeah. Yeah? Weren't you one of the main organizers? Uh-huh. You seem too enthusiastic there, pal, if you don't mind my sign. Hey, is it wrong for me to charge $20 for a cake of wax? No, I'm all for exploiting the masses while you can. Wish I could move my restaurant opening up a week, because that'd be like cha-ching, you know what I mean? That'd be good. Mm. All right, what's going on, man? <laughs> Come on, dude, what's up? Nothing. Me nothing. It's just that, man, this is it. You know, this is what I do. Yeah? Biggest surfing event ever to hit Playa Linda. And here I am, marking up boardwalks. Look, back in the day, man, me and the boys, we'd roll into town with the tour. We'd make unrelenting fun of all the local wannabes and has-beens. And now, guess what? What? I'm one of those has-beens. Cool, guys. Reef Breaker! <laughs> there he is. What's up, brother? I wondered when I'd see you. Yeah. Just landed last night, thought we'd see the sights. And check out our old compadre. Give it up, Reef. Time to keep <laughs> <laughs> Uh, look at this. Looks like our own Jaybird is turned into the man. But not the man. Oh, a man, maybe. But not the man. Uh, guys, this is my friend Johnny Durant. Johnny is a gang. Yo, friend of Reef Breakers. Welcome to Playa Linda. What a touching scene. Well, you know what they say, the family that ignores each other together. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Makes you feel toasty all over. Oh, yeah. Holy crap! Nikki. Holy crap! Hey, excuse me, with the language. Gigi and Ryder Montana are finally actually doing it. Oh, he is so hot. Gigi who? Just Gigi, America's new singing sensation extraordinaire. One hottest female vocalist at this year's MTV Awards and then mooned the audience when she accepted her award. Classy lady. Oh, they're getting married on Lake Como. Oh. Hold on. You guys are in the wedding dress industry now. Why don't you guys design her dress? You know, I don't like to toss this word around often, especially to other people, but that is a genius idea. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We can make this happen. I have an in. People, someone very, very high on her food chain. Can you imagine the instant heat infusion if she got married in an Ava G? And it is not like we don't need the heat. Hello? Paging Ava G. And Ava, you have to do this. Derek, do you know where your brother is? Brayden? No, your other brother. Upstairs. Would you mind running up there and getting him? No Thanks. This is good. This is really good. A couple A's, even. Well, we thought you should be the first to know. So does this mean he's back on the team? Well, that is up to you, Coach. I don't know, Brayden. You don't know. Yeah, I read Coach Andrew's file on you, Westerly. You're a disaster waiting to happen is what you are. Cool. Glad to have you back. <laughs> well, good luck. Be gentle with him. Now let's get your butt suited up and back out there where it belongs. Yes, sir. Ma'am. Hey, coach. Coach. Eric. Eric. I didn't know Lucas had a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Neither did I. When I see you smile, I know everything's okay. When I hear you laugh, it's always a bright day. Gonna do my best to get the rest as long as you're with me. We'll be alright. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful day. 
What's up with you, Reef? Seem a little hinky. Hinky? What can I do for you, son? Right there, bro. That's exactly what I'm talking about, man. It's me. Where's the love? Nothing. Well, I got some business to discuss. Seriously, what can I do for you? Seriously, dude? This. Guess what that is? I'm not a one. <laughs> Pipe's a little ankle slapper compared to that monster. That, my friend, is Chopu. Chopu. Yeah. Yep, last spring. So you don't tow in there? Oh, yeah, it's a wave of the future, bro. You kidding me? Dude, the biggest waves, it's the biggest sponsorship, it's the biggest rush in the world, dude. It's sick. You're not worried about alienating the purists? Please, the purists are a bunch of jealous old timers watching the sport go by. Dude, this tow in surfing is where all the big coin is right now, dude. I'm telling you, man, once they see you carving a 30 foot face like this, they're pretty much spoiled for life. What's that got to do with me? I need a driver, tow driver. Why me? I need somebody that I can trust. Just looking for a chauffeur for the jet ski. Dude, not true at all, all right? You know how important a good driver is, and you know it's life and death out there, man. I need somebody out there with me who's as serious about surfing as I am. Hey, we're gonna be late, dude. I'll be right there. Think about it, I need a partner, not a punk. I need you. She's a 22-year-old lip-syncing soda seller. Why are you guys making such a big deal about this? Ava, she's a pop star with a very high profile. Yeah, who could be helping us sell our dresses if we let her. This is why we quit our job at Ian's job for an opportunity just like this one. Funny, I remember Ian sucking up to every C-list celebrity that crossed his path. I'm sorry, you guys, that's not an opportunity I want to pursue. Hey, the biz is not going to grow on its own, honey. You know what, that's another thing. I, I think you're pushing it. Well, you have to be careful about growing the business too quickly. Colby, Ava. are you up there? Tess! Tessie! Up here! Check you out, oh. boyfriend! You look wonderful! Yeah, well, what can I say? The sea air agrees with me. Sorry I'm late, but Gigi insisted I finish the sitting before I left. Um, the sitting? Didn't Colby tell you? I'm her dog's portraitist. Really? Groucho and Whiskey reveal themselves to me in a way they just won't for other artists. Hey, what's up with you, Lucas? Not much. Talk to Callie lately? Yeah, sure, we've talked. What are you bugging about? She's my girlfriend, dude. So I can't talk to her? Is that all it is? Fine, I dig her, okay? But I don't know what you're getting so upset about. It's not like you guys have been getting along lately. Oh, so what, we're having problems and now it's okay for you to just step right in? Don't worry, I'm not stepping in, man. I wouldn't do that to you, or her. Hey, what's your problem, dude? Dude, you're the one with the problems. You said it yourself. And as far as I can see, you're not lifting a finger to make things any better. Sounds like the opportunity of a lifetime to me. If I knew what you were talking about. Toe surfing. I mean, the waves are too big to paddle into, so you need to be towed on by a jet ski. I'm doing the towing. You're going 40, 50 miles an hour. Really? Mm -hmm. That sounds like a dangerous gig. It's exhilarating, actually. There you go. I mean, even on a jet ski, I'd be getting a rush I haven't had in years. But... So what's the problem? Down a little bit. Honestly, I don't know. Every bone in my body is telling me to close up shop and hop on son's wagon. But it just feels too easy, you know? What I do know, Mr. Robertson, is that not everything in life has to be a grind. See, that's what it's about, buddy. It's just living the dream. I can't even imagine it. I've pretty much forgotten what it's like to have one. What the hell are you talking about? Surfing. That was my bliss, man. Ever since I busted my knee, it's like... Like what, you're missing your bliss? I just... I'm not feeling the fire much these days. That's all. For anything. Yeah, well, it sounds like you got a second chance over there with your buddy, uh, son. Don't believe in second chances, John. <laughs> Shut up. All right, if that doesn't say second chance right there, I don't know what does. It was so much fun meeting you guys. I'm just gonna walk it down. Oh, yeah, no, it, it was again. nice meeting Take you. Take care. We'll be right back. Nice okay. Bye. Okay. So Bye. good to see you.
That was an ambush, plain and simple. Oh, please. It was a meet and greet with somebody who's farther removed from Gigi than Kevin Bacon. Then what was the point? The point was to do something to kickstart this business. What, like deceiving your partner? If I told you about this meeting, would you have taken it? I didn't think so. This is hard for me. Things are moving really fast. Ava, sometimes we all need a little push. Even you. Callie. You got a sec? What's up? Um, I saw you at the beach with Lucas. Brayden. It's cool. I'm not mad. Uh, I, I thought I would be, but I'm, I'm, I'm not. Do you, know what, do you know what I'm saying? No, not really. Here's the deal. I, when I saw you guys, I was very jealous. But I realize now it was for all the wrong reasons. Nothing was going on. Yes, there was. You were happy, Kelly. Happier than you've been with me in a very long time. Brayden, that's not true. Yeah, it is. It's, it's true. We both know it. Relationships take work. Brayden, you know that. Ours has just taken a lot lately, that's all. It shouldn't. What happened to all the fun? Can we talk about this? That's just it. I, I feel like we've talked this thing into the ground. So what are you saying? I just don't think we have much to talk about anymore. Fine. If that's what you want. Yeah, that's, that's what I want. You're as funny as ever, Greg. <laughs> hey, did you hear about Sun's new movie deal? Oh, yeah, yeah. Paramount optioned the rights to my story, bro. So I guess surfing is the new in sport. Between the prize money and the endorsements, I broke into the seven digits last year, man. <laughs> Me? Not bad for a bum, huh? Hey. <laughs> what? <laughs> so what the hell you need me for? Come on. You kidding me, bro? With you on board, I'd make twice that much. No problem. So you're serious about this, right? Never been more serious about anything, bro. You come along with me to the Maui Invitational on Tuesday, you could be surfing Jaws by this weekend. Come on, you come along, I'll split everything with you 50-50. Everything? Everything, man. We could share the women, we could share the wine. Why? Come on, what else do I gotta do to convince you? Huh? <laughs> the rest is up to you. <laughs> 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 Nikki, come on! It's just a movie! Thanks! You never know who you're gonna run into in line. Mm. Now can we please go? What's the big rush anyway? Well, we like the trailers. Ugh, yeah. oh, it's official. We are never getting out of here. Tess, what are you? Ah! Gigi! Gigi. Ava, right? Uh, yeah. Tess showed me the In Chic spread. I loved it. Your portfolio's magnificent. She loved it. Wait a minute. You're... Yeah, I am. My friends call me G. But my wedding dress designer can call me anything she wants. <gasps> so wild. Last year, I never would have set foot in the ocean, and now I'm competing in the pro-am. Someone getting nervous? No, no. Maybe a little. Nothing wrong with that. Come a long way, dude, in a very short time. No, well, thanks to you, yes. Don't let it go to your head. <laughs> Don't worry. Everything else okay? I can't keep a secret from you, huh? Sorry, Brayden. Is it my fault I can read you like a book? It's Callie. What? We broke up. What? Why? I mean, I thought you guys well, were... we weren't right for each other. We both knew it, too. I... How are you feeling now? It's weird. I'm kind of relieved, though. Good. I mean... It is good. It's good. Just hard. It's all. They're a bitch like that, aren't they? Relationships? Yes, they are. Not that I exactly have the best track record myself. 
Well, maybe you just haven't found the right person yet either. Maybe not. Maybe not. What the hell are we doing? Scrap with our boy Reef about all the good times in store. Kippo was just leaving, wasn't he? I was? Yeah. Actually, can you give us a second, Kippo? Oh. For your hot stuff? As many seconds as you need. Kippo. Kippo. Did. Oh, oh well. I'll take it to go. Alright. I need a favor, Jay. Sure. I want you to coach Brayden. What? For the pro am. His heat's in a couple of days, and I can't give him what he needs. I mean, to get him over the hump. What are you talking about? You're an excellent coach. Not like you. Look, I need you to do this for me, Jay. I wouldn't ask if I had any other options. Why are you pushing so hard on this? I want Braden to have the best chance possible, all right? Yeah, I don't know. I'm really kind of busy. Look, if not for me, do it for Braden. Please. It's two uh, days, Jay. Uh... Two days. Yes! Come on! Yes! Kill tacular! Oh, I, I I swear, I thought my heart was just gonna stop. <laughs> well, your mouth didn't show any signs of slowing down. Well, I talk when I get nervous. It might help to remember that she's a high school dropout that probably can't even read a note of music. Oh, right. A high school dropout that has a gold record, mm -hmm. a hit reality show, mm -hmm. and is marrying the number two tennis player. Number two. Number two in the world. In the world. How do you know all this stuff? I'm a culture vulture. What can I say? And that dropout is gonna make a great client. Yeah. Yeah, yeah whether I like it or not. Oh, 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 tell her. Tell her what? Oh, it's no big deal. Gigi just wanted me to go shopping with her today. Oh. Tell her where? Miami. What? And how were you going to get there? Her private jet. And you said no. Well, my life is not about that now. Ava, when was your life ever about that? Look. If you want to succeed in this business, you sometimes got to grab the bull by the, by the horns. And you, young lady, need to loosen up. Even if it means a shopping trip in Miami on a private jet. <sighs> okay. Okay, I get it. You guys want to come with? <gasps> Are you serious? I'm going to check my schedule. <gasps> come sack shack for now. Drops in hard left. Finishes off with the cutback into a 360. Oh, Louis son Ray responds with a rocket 360 of his own. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
doesn't suck, right? Decidedly unsucky. I don't think that it could suck anymore. Any less. You guys know what I mean. Well, it was the best Christmas present that I ever gave myself. Mm. The gift that keeps on giving. Mm -hmm. It was a huge waste of money, if you ask me. Which, of course, she didn't. Lion up, Mary Ellen. I told you you didn't have to come. Um, are you married? Me? Mm -hmm. Um, Mom, I'm warning you. I will put you up there with the pilots. This is your mother? Oh, yeah, and you know what? She thinks I'm running a democracy. When really, she knows I am running a benevolent dictatorship. <laughs> Congratulations, son. Thank you. So, uh, how soon did you realize you won the event? Oh, well, to be honest with you, Stu, Chuck had me biting my nails there to the bitter end. But once I heard this crowd roaring, my stokage needle definitely started peaking. <laughs> right on, man. So what's next? Where do you go from here? Oh, I got some killer plans, Stu. Me and my new partner in crime. Where is he? Jay! Come over here, buddy. What do you say? Jay Robinson, right? The, uh, surfer formerly known as Reef Breaker. One and only. Yeah, me and Reef here, we're gonna head over to the mighty jaws in Maui and tackle us the gnarliest waves we could find, huh? That sounds great. So how's it feel to be the newest member of Team Sunray? I will have armed oh, guards yeah, patrolling okay. every square inch of that place. I guess I'm just worried. You know, with the whole wedding debacle and everything the kids have been through, I, I just don't want to take any more stability away from them. Yeah, but if Ava G becomes really successful, don't you think that that would make them more stable? I mean, does she look destabilized to you? Now just sit back, relax. You deserve this. We deserve this. It's hard, isn't it? You want to protect them, but... You want to live your own life, too. I know, exactly. And somehow, the two become mutually exclusive. You spend so much time worrying about them, you have no time left Hello? for- Hello? I'm not deaf, you know. Oh, gosh, I, I, I'm sick of the trash talk. Trash talk? We were just having a little chat. Oh, oh, a little chat about the horrors of parenting, babe. I'm gonna call you back. What's wrong with you, mother? Is your life really that horrible? Gigi, I swear she was not saying... Don't defend her. What a total buzzkill. This trip is over. We're turning the plane around. What are you doing, G? Don't be such a drama queen. Otis? Yeah, we're going home. Yeah, home, now. He listens unlike other people. Hey. Listen. I am. What happened? Yeah. It can't go any further than that. What? What? Why? Uh, I've liked you since the first second I met you. I asked Jay to take over your training. What? It's the best thing for all of us. Jay can get you to places that I can't. I want to go places with you. I... Do I not have any say in this? Jay already said he'd do it. This isn't about Jay. This is, this is about us. Don't, Brayden. This is how it has to be. Erica! Hey, Cricket! Don't. Braden, I'm serious. Don't. Hey, Hot Stuff, you know I got a cola for you. <laughs> hey. Hey. You know you've been waiting for me all night. <laughs> Hello? Uh, who is this? 
Oh, hi. Um, listen, uh, G. You know, if, if this is about what happened on the plane, it's really. You did. Uh huh. Uh huh. Good morning, Sunshine. Oh, what the hell? Eric, you did mention you'd be working out with me, right? Yes, but... <laughs> yeah, but what? Uh, hey, I'm doing uh... you guys a favor here. <clears throat> so we're gonna do it right or not? Come on. What is this? Practice schedule. Wind sprints? Uh-huh. A half hour of stretching? Hey, there's only two days before the Pro-Am. Video analysis? It's the best way to break down the areas we need to work on. And believe me, little man, there's a lot of areas we need to work on with you. 45 minutes before first light. Let's get rolling. Trust me, I'm no happy about this than you are. A dream. A long, twisted dream where apparently the wedding dress just came to her. Well, she is a visionary pop star. Yeah, and as mad as a hatter, but... You know, who isn't these days? Fine, but now she expects me to recreate her dream dress right down to the last crazy stitch. Excuse me, but didn't you create your own wedding dress from a dream? Susanna, she hired me to design her dress. Now I'm taking dictation from her. It's a creative business. These are creative people. You gotta stay fluid. Well, it's hard to be fluid when my artistic integrity is on the line. Uh, tell me exactly, how much more of this am I supposed to take? First of all, you're not taking anything by yourself. We're in this together. Yeah, and second of all... Yeah? Why was I not invited on the shopping trip? Come on! Get more speed up! That's all we need! Great, shiny some aggression! No more pussy footing! Get out there! If I see that one more time, I'll come out there and do it myself! Gotta stick that landing, man. Stick the landing. That is absolutely pathetic. I don't know what the hell you're thinking out there. I mean, the competition's tomorrow, for God's sake. I thought the point was not to think. Just be one with the wave. Isn't that what you always say? If you don't do it properly, you'll become one with the ocean floor. Maybe if I wasn't so fried from all these wind sprints. Maybe if you had a better work ethic and a little less... Look. You know what the main problem is? You're coming in too fast. You're digging the rail. A little less what, Jay? Nothing. Forget about it. With yeah, a move like the death trap, the turn is so sharp, so precise. Everything is technique. Once you master it, then you can let go. Then you become one with the wave. Are we ready for a break yet? You're trying a really tricky move out there. And unless you want to end up like me with a busted knee, you'll keep practicing until your feet bleed. I'm just tired, Jay. You want a break? Fine. Let's take a break. After tomorrow. Both can. What is that supposed to mean? I'm out of here, man. Hopping on the road with sun. Gonna chase tidal waves across the world. It's your life, Jay. Yeah, it is. Jay. Look, Brayden, if you're not prepared to do whatever it takes, then you're not going to make it on the circuit. It'd be a whole lot easier to buy that coming from someone who actually made it on the circuit. Are you out of your mind? Talking to me like that? What the hell are you leaving for? What do you think? Running the surf shop? Banging my head against the wall with little ingrates like you? You think that's the end of the road for me? Are we done? Guess I was wrong about you from the very start. You don't have what it takes. Whatever, Jay. Yeah. We're done.
right for once. No! That's the goal, Your Highness. Well, that really blew, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know how I signed off on this mummy crap. Well, I thought that you were just incredible. Oh, yeah, did. Vine, the second coming of Cleopatra. Oh, yeah, it was incredible. A very historically compelling. Oh, well, we're trying to be real accurate. Apparently, this is all from existing documentation of ancient Egyptian sleepwear. Uh-huh. I don't know. So, what do you have for me? I, I wish I had more time, but... Oh, okay, well, um, this one is the original concept. And then on this one... I tried to incorporate some of your suggestions from our last conversation. No. No, no, no. Excuse me? Well, what letter don't you understand, the N or the O? I thought this was exactly what you were looking for. Oh, no, no, no. These lines are nothing like what I described. Okay, this tall miniskirt looks like it's coming down below the knee, and where is the white leather jacket that we talked about? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I just thought a veil <sighs> would be more yeah, appropriate. Yeah, you know, I, 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 okay. I get it. There's just way too much thinking going on here. So, next pass, let's try a little less thinking and a little more sticking to the plan. That way, neither of us will be messing up any of our valuable time. What's up, dude? So you broke up with her, huh? Yeah. Happy now? Look, I thought you should know. I'm planning on asking Kelly out. Really? Making a play on your buddy's girlfriend now, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. You just said you guys broke up. Ex-girlfriend, same thing. Just as pitiful. Are you seriously gonna pull this guy code BS with me? Like that would ever... Stop. Hey, 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 stay there, stay there! What's wrong with you two, huh? He's the one with the problems, man. You wanna tell me what's going on? Nothing. So that's how it's gonna be. So you wanna know something? You look like someone who's not ready for the pro am <laughs> Or anything else for that matter. Pretty crushed. She's been holed up in her room all day. Carbs. Nothing but carbs. Oh, she'll be fine. It's you I'm worried about. Well, you should be. That was a whole new level of humiliation I never even knew existed. Spoken by someone who's clearly never come within spitting distance of Madonna. And <laughs> never will, thank you very much. As of today, we are out of the celebrity business. What, so this is a dictatorship now? I'm sorry. I tried. I really did. And I don't have any regrets. I mean, you guys were right. This business will stagnate if we don't move forward. Forward, onward, and upward. But I just can't put up with that level of abuse. Well, we can't kiss a client like Gigi goodbye. Look, I don't care what anybody says. I'm torching all of her CDs. I guess not so crushed. Please, I'm not gonna let some Britney Spears want to be ruin my day. Oh, when's the torching ceremony? Right after I watch my brother kick some butt in the pro-am. Fabulous. Come on. Nikki, hold on one second. Um, listen, wish Braden good luck for us. Where are we going? It's about time we all started doing things differently around here. Okay. Yeah. See you and me, kid. that have left most of this competition in the dust. And here comes Clay Linda's own Braden Westerly, cutting in hard to the right. Starts off with a chop up. Nice little kickback, but he's gonna need something a lot bigger than that to catch breath. Beautiful. Ah, 
That's the uh, famous down under death trap. Hmm? I can't believe you pulled it off myself. There's nothing like watching someone hit the wall and find a way to break through. Oh, especially when you had something to do with it, right? It wasn't me. I think you just wanted it more than I'd realized. Come on, you're not fooling anyone, pal. You did a great job of them. In case I don't get another chance to tell you. Well, let's not get too mushy, all right? Too mushy. Thanks. He did do damn good out there, didn't he? Yo, Brayden. How you doing, Bob? I'm Doug Fox. From Surf Force. Wow. Yeah. You guys got some pretty cool boards. I think you might look pretty good riding on one. I don't want to get too ahead of ourselves, but we're considering you for sponsorship. <laughs> wow. That's unbelievable, Mr. Fox. I'm actually, I'm gonna have to talk to my, my coach first. Nikki, I think it's important that you see this. You will not play mixed doubles with her. Do you Excuse understand? Me. Uh, you know what? I have to go. The designer, yes, the designer for our wedding is here. You better have a damn good reason for being here. Or what? You'll fire me? Go ahead. Aunt Ava. Nikki, I have no interest in working for someone who treats people the way she does. You wouldn't even think about quitting. Unless we get some ground rules straight right now, that's exactly what I'll do. You're giving me ground rules? That's right. You may be the client, but I'm the designer. I don't tell you how to sing. You don't tell me how to create a dress. Your input is welcome, but you will never, ever talk to me the way you did the other day. And if I do? You can find someone else to do your dress. Simple as that. Wow. You'd really do that? I would, and I will. Well, you realize nobody's talked to me like that since I was like 15. Well then, welcome back to the real world. It's your amateur, Playa Linda, Pro-Am champion, Brayden Westerly. <laughs> Rom did good, Reef. I think he just graduated from the ranks of drum. Let's not get crazy, man. I'm just saying kids got potential, that's all. The thing of it is, Louis, uh, and you know this as well as I do, he still needs me. I mean, more than you do. Come on, Jay. No, I, I don't know that. You can't just bail on me if we already had... Hey, you know what else? Just come with me to Jaws, all right? If that doesn't convince you... What? I need him. He's got a future, man. I want to be part of it. With you, I'm just chasing the past. That would have been a righteous ride, though. The competition may be over, but the party's just getting started. I cannot believe this shit didn't fight you. Us, I mean us. Oh, ye of little faith, Cole. Hey, I have plenty of faith in your aunt, sweetheart. It was the little biatch princess I was worried about. Well, sometimes even little princes will surprise you. <laughs> particularly when you put them in their place. Good going, Ava G. Oh, I couldn't have done it without you. And you were right, I needed that little push. So then what, uh, nobody gets fired this week? Not this week! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ellie! How are you? Hey, you got a skirt. After all that, you're not going. 
I guess the pull of Playa Linda was greater than I realized. Yeah, right, Playa Linda. <laughs> Jeez. That was something, though, huh? Seeing Braden up there with that trophy? Hey, watching him carve up every inch of that wave was worth the price of admission for me. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, if he keeps applying himself like he did mm -hmm. today, the trophies, they'll just take care of themselves. And I take it your job description will include reminding him of that fact? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> it's a second chance, isn't it? Yeah. They come in many, many forms, don't they? They do. Said Brayden. one word to me the whole night. What? Nothing. Something happened between us. You can't pretend that it didn't. But it shouldn't have. And it won't happen again. Look, there are way too many reasons why it can't. So don't make me list them all. You could give me a million reasons, Erica. It's not gonna change the way I'm feeling right now. And what I'm pretty sure you're feeling too. We can't do this. I'm serious. I know you are. I'm serious, too. Mr. Westerly's new personal coach slash trainer slash manager, I thought I might watch him do his sessions, if you don't mind. No, I don't mind. Hey, guys. Hey, there's our Laird Hamilton in the making. Hey, Coach Haskell, what's going on? Oh, I've got to say, on behalf of the entire athletic department and the school, we are very excited about this sponsorship. We take pride in all of our athlete successes. We're also very proud of Braden's coach, Erica Spaulding. I can't take all the credit. Jay here's been working a lot with Brayden. Oh, we're all part of the Westley entourage. Yeah, you guys should know we're looking at a couple surfers for a competition coming up. My bosses are flying in this weekend. They want to see you surf. For the junior pro circuit, right? Yeah, we lost a surfer. We need somebody in Hawaii next week. Hawaii? Well, well what about school? Well, I'm sure in your case, we can make a few exceptions. Well, let's do it. I'd... Right, Jay? We'll see you on the weekend. All right. One, eighty-two, eighty-three submissions. And we only have enough space in the lit magazine for 20. Oh, well, this one's spelled angst with a K. <sighs> Everyone's a writer. I feel kind of bad weeding people out like this. This is personal stuff. I mean, they're bearing their hearts and souls. And, and just... rejection is a valuable life lesson. Ah, uh, circle of life. I'm more concerned about how we're going to select, edit, lay out, and copy edit the entire magazine by next week. Yeah. When does that new high school advisor start? Oh, you mean the administration appointed babysitter? <laughs> Today. But the last advisor was a total waste of time and money. Yeah, maybe it'll be different this time. Oh, I promise you it will be. I fully intend on laying down the law the second they get here. No more Miss Nice. Hey guys, uh, I'm Jeb Eckhart. Are either of you Nikki Westerly? Johnny, this is amazing. Thank you. Uh, yep. Well, it's done. And I don't know what to do with myself now. <laughs> I've been chained to this place for two months. You need to go out and celebrate. Yeah, I know, I should. But you know, this, this owning a business, it just kind of consumes your entire life, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, forever. Mm. <laughs> and you're terrified. Uh, actually, um, this is the best I've felt in a long time. 
Really? This from the guy whose longest commitment has been to his gym? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> You've Stop. come a long way. I'm proud of you. Welcome to adulthood. Oh, thank you. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yeah. So, would you like to go out and get a drink? Or, Johnny, you know, some... what time is our dinner reservation? Uh, you know what? I couldn't get us in until uh, 9 o'clock. Then for now, I think you should drop everything you're wearing in. Hey, whoa, whoa, hey, uh, you know, Ava stopped by to, to say hello. Hello, Mona. <laughs> Hi. Place looks great. Thanks. Um, you should have seen it this morning. Oh. We had to move a ton of odds and ends out of the way and into the upstairs storage. Yes. You mean Johnny's apartment? Uh, uh, actually... You didn't tell her? Uh, no, I just... I just... Right up, yeah. Oh, no, no. Johnny moved in with me. You're living together? Wow. Yeah, well, you know, I figured we were spending so much time together, you know. It's, um, can't live upstairs forever. <laughs> That's great. I, I'm really happy for both of you. Oh, Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Hi, honey, I'm home. What's for dinner? I've been thinking about that for almost 45 minutes. Oh, all I ask is that you have food waiting for me on the table when I get home. <laughs> oh, hey, before I forget, uh, Matt Carlson called. Is he the guy <laughs> with... <laughs> what are you, crazy? Look, it's only been one date. We don't want to jinx this, so let's talk about something that's a little less threatening to me, okay? <laughs> Johnny moved in with Mona. Oh! Guess what? Hey, the Surf Force sponsors want to see me surf this weekend. And if they like what they see, the National Circuit. Oh, that's huge. Whoa, 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 whoa. National? For how long? Oh, only be for a month. Yeah, you know, like summer camp. Oh, so we're, we're talking this summer? Uh, well, actually, it'll, it'll probably be in a week. It's we rehearsed this, man. Come on. A week? How, how are you going to go in a week? You have school. Uh, well, school's cool with it. I, I mean, the, the, the sponsors, they're going to have uh, chaperones, chaperones and uh, tutors. tutors. So uh, Who are total strangers. Are you, are you kidding? They're going to start fighting about this, aren't they? Uh, you should leave and take the boy with you. Hey, Brayden, let me show you something really cool in another part of the house that's still within earshot. Jay, I'm not crazy for saying no. I can't imagine any parent that would let their child go off by himself for a month, especially after everything that's happened this past year. Look, you can't load all that onto him. He's really pulled it together, Ava. Uh, he's focused on his training, and he is damn good. Then he'll be even better when he gets out of school. Ava, trust me, he needs this. Okay, even if I did let him go, I, I can't let him go alone. I'll go with him. You would do that for a month? Absolutely. Well, it's a sponsorship. I, I know exactly how he's feeling right now. Look, most surfers would, they'd compete their entire lives for this chance. I would, I'd love to be part of it. Look, at least let him try out. He may not get in, but we'll never know if we don't give him a chance. I'll let him try out, but that's all I can promise right now. You can't keep ignoring me. I'm not ignoring you. Okay. We're gonna have to deal with this eventually. There's nothing to deal with. Look, I've been doing a lot of thinking, and we're just friends. It can't be anything more. You kissed me back. Whatever happened or whatever is happening can't happen. Look, uh, meet me tonight on the promenade. I just want to talk. Look, give me tonight, and I I'll drop the whole thing. Hey, coach, are we serving today or what? Hit the water, Brayden. And you can change up the number of units per page and create some pretty rad layouts by just using white space and text. And... I'm rambling. No, oh, no, 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 this is great. We never knew you could do this sort of stuff. I think you're fascinating. Okay, um, you know what? It's getting, it's getting pretty late. I think I'm gonna head out. I still have five short plays, two novellas, and a syncane to read. Uh, yeah, and I've got a lot of work to do, too. All right, I'll catch you guys later. See you, man.
You got a pen I can borrow? A pen? Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, oh, great. Ow! Fudge. Oh. Did you just say fudge? Yeah. Oh, oh ooh, I Confederacy of Dunces. It's a great book. What did you think of the main character? He's such a cynic. Ignatius? I don't think he's a cynic at all. In fact, I was thinking that he's just the opposite. I think of him as a fatalistic optimist who always sets himself up for disappointment. It's kind of tragic, actually. Wow, that's, that's pretty astute. <laughs> Are you sure you're only 13? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, here's the pen. Oh, uh, sorry. All right. If you uh, want to talk more about the book, you should meet me at this coffee shop on Saturday afternoon. You should come. Really? Uh, that's great. I I I'd love to. Go to the batting cages. How'd you get in? Back door was open. Hey, where's Johnny? Oh, he had to go to the printers for a menu emergency. Is this Resident Evil? Um, uh, yeah. It's the middle of the afternoon. Isn't that kind of weird? <laughs> it calms me down. Cool. It's still kind of weird, but cool. Wait. Should you be watching this? Uh, yeah. Uh, my Aunt Ava lets me watch it all the time. Oh, okay. Oh, this is so frustrating. Everything I own makes me look like I'm 13. You are 13. Yeah, but only in age. Hey, here's a copy of the submissions I thought were pretty good. It should be considered for finalists. I was gonna run a copy over to Jeb's. Oh, well, I can give it to him tomorrow. We're meeting for coffee. For coffee? You don't drink coffee. Well, I was thinking about starting. What, so is this like a, like a date? Yeah. You're going on a date with him? He's in high school. He's not a typical high school guy, though. I feel like I can talk to him about things that kids our age just wouldn't understand. Yeah, but guys in high school, they want different things. But Jeff's not like that. I can tell. Does your aunt know you're going out with a guy from high school? It's the middle of the day and it's coffee. Nothing bad could happen. It's the big problem. No problem. Have fun. Uh, wait, Cameron, wait. Um, Johnny's restaurant opening is this weekend. You're still coming, right? Ah, uh, maybe. See you around. You're having a nightmare. The zombie dogs were chasing me through the lab. What? Like in the movie Resident Evil. Resident Evil? Derek, you know you're not supposed to be watching movies like that. Where did you see that? Mona's. What's all the commotion? Wow! You look fantastic. <laughs> hey, how was your date? Hey, 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 hey. Jinxing. What's going on? No, oh, Derek had a nightmare because that Mona let him watch Resident Evil. I don't even know what Resident Evil is, but I can tell by the title it's not something he should be watching. What are you gonna do? Well, I'm gonna talk to her. Ooh. Look, now that Johnny and Mona are living together, I think that Mona needs to use better judgment where the kids are involved. Is there the tiniest chance that this has nothing to do with bad judgment? Maybe living arrangements? I mean, you haven't really talked about that. What's to say? They move in together after three weeks. She's just coming out of a divorce. I mean, it's like the perfect storm of doomed relationships. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. I want Johnny to be happy, but I think he's gonna get hurt. Well, tread lightly, my friend. 
Tread lightly. I will. Hey, what is Matt Jason. doing? Jason. All your friends have changed. Another moment to. <laughs> I didn't think you were gonna show. Neither did I. So, you psyched about Surf Force? It's a really great opportunity. Eh, I'm not getting my hopes up. You've come a long way since I first met you. You know, I, I didn't even want to learn how to surf. I didn't, but uh, the second I saw you standing outside Jay's surf shop, Chalk it up to fate. I would have done anything just to have been near you. Brayden, there are so many reasons why this shouldn't happen. I'm your surf coach, and we're friends, really good friends. And Jay, of course. Yeah, and Jay. You know, I just wish it was the two of us. The only two people in the world, like now. Yeah, it's a beautiful thought, but it's just not reality. Erica, tell me there's not something going on between us, and I'll leave. It's getting late, and you've got your sponsorship tryout in the morning. No, say it. Say it. Say the words, and I'll leave. I'm just trying to do the right thing. You know, you once told me that you were a big believer in fate. So let's, let's leave it up to fate. Let's flip a coin. You wanna flip a coin? Yeah, let's flip a coin. Heads, it was meant to be. Tails, oh, no, I'll leave you alone for good. Got a second? A little busy here. I'll be quick. We had a little incident at the house last night. Derek had a nightmare because you let him watch a movie you really shouldn't have. I'm sorry. Derek said he had seen it before. He told me it was okay. And you believed him? What was I supposed to do? Well, you could have called Johnny or me. <laughs> I'll admit, I don't know that much about kids, but I'm learning because I know how important it is to Johnny. So I'd appreciate it if you'd cut me a little slack. Yeah, well, these are my kids you're learning with. Okay. Sorry, it won't happen again. Well, I don't know if that's good enough. I mean, now that you and Johnny are living together, I'm not sure I feel comfortable with him being over your house unsupervised. Him being Derek or Johnny? Derek. We're talking about Derek. This has nothing to do with Johnny. Ava, why are you talking to me about this instead of going to Johnny? Because I thought we were both adults and we could have a rational conversation about this. And it's not because you're jealous? You know, Mona, you don't know anything about me or my relationship with Johnny. And I'm a little fed up with you making these unfounded assumptions. How'd you handle situations like this with Johnny's other girlfriends? Honestly, they're never around long enough for it to be an issue. Well, I'm not going anywhere. So the sooner you get used to that, the sooner you and I can start being civil to one another. You ready for the tryout? I didn't sleep all night. But I wasn't thinking about the tryout. Whoa, 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 public place. How long are we gonna stay in hiding? Just, let's take it slow. Well, can we go back to your place tonight? Slower. Okay, can we drive down to Mexico? Way slower. All right. Can I take you to a restaurant and sit at the same table? Sure. 
You haven't told anyone, have you? No, no, no. Nobody knows. Good luck. I need a little more luck than that. <laughs> hey, guys! Brayden, I figured I'd find you here. Not so sure I expected to see you. She was just helping me out with some last minute practice. All oh, right, all the surf force are waiting down the beach. Let's get moving. Sumatra's one. Um, the last one. Okay. Well, you look cute. Glad you can make it. Thank you. Um, I'm glad I could be here. And I'm just, um, sipping my coffee. Yeah, you drink your coffee black? Um, yeah. Okay. Let's go sit down. Yeah. Guys? This is Nikki. Nikki. This is a book club. Yeah. Hey, Nikki. Yeah. yeah. Right. Where's your book? Uh, I didn't bring it. You didn't bring your book to the book club. Yeah, you're right. Um, I should go home and get it. I live pretty far away from here. So, how about I just try and make it to the next one? Guys, just uh. Go ahead, start without me. I'm gonna go get Nikki's book with her. It's okay, Jeb. Really. I'm old enough to find my way back home. Humor me. Are you okay? Feeling kind of nauseous. I'm sorry, I should have been more specific. Actually, I think it's the coffee, but trust me, this isn't helping. Sit down. When I, uh, when I invited you to talk more about the book, I thought you realized there was to talk more about the book. Yeah, I'm such an idiot. I'm sorry that you thought this afternoon was more. For what it's worth, I think you're incredibly smart and adorable and funny. Let me guess, it's not me, it's you. Well, no, it's... It's kind of you. Right. I'm such an idiot. But I get it. I'm a kid. And you're older, and why would you want to date a kid? It's not because you're a kid. It's because you're a girl. What? I'm gay. That was the best I've ever seen you surf. I mean, that'd be crazy not to sign you. Come on, guys. I'm trying not to get my hopes up. <clears throat> That's pretty good, though, huh? Erica, we need to talk. Coach, you should have seen him out there. Unbelievable. Oh, that might not matter now. Give us a few minutes, will you guys? Is this about me, Coach? Braden, go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If this is about Brayden, then I'm staying. Erica, I'm not going to beat around the bush here. Is there something going on between you and Brayden, romantically? <laughs> That's ridiculous. And Erica's like a big sister to him. Well, one of the parents saw you kissing on the promenade after the pro-am. That didn't look very sisterly. Look, someone's obviously got their wires crossed. Are you denying it's true?
It just happened, and I promise it ends now. Erica, I wish it was that simple. Please, Coach. As of this moment, you're suspended. I'm going to have to report this to the administration and see how they want to handle it. Your, uh, your school's athletics director called me. So you know everything. Braden, what exactly was your plan here? And Ava, this is real. Okay, Eric and I, we weren't just fooling around. I really care about her. I can see that. But Braden, you two can't see each other anymore. So what, am I just supposed to ignore the way I feel about her? Look, sometimes in a relationship, there are more reasons not to be with someone than to be with them. Even when you love them. Raiden, aren't you moving a little fast? I've loved her from the first day that I've met her. Oh, Jay, I'm sorry. Listen, listen. Whatever little sense you have left in that head of yours should tell you to back away right now. Sorry, I had no idea that any of this was going on. Yeah, I know. Me neither. I guess I should talk to Erica. I'll talk to her. Are you sure? Because I... So I said I'll talk to her. I should have told you. <laughs> yeah, you should have. It happened before I could even... Erica, how could you be so stupid? I mean, you obviously weren't thinking about your career, but did you think about what something like this could do to Brayden's? I talked to Coach Haskell. We made a deal, and he agreed to keep things under wraps if I resign. For Brayden's sake, Sir Force won't find out about it. It was stupid, but nothing really happened. I mean, we kissed. That's it. I don't want the details. I just want you to end it. I screwed up, okay? I get it. I just need some time to sort things out. Listen. I'll make the decision easy for you. You're not to see him anymore, okay? I get that you're mad, but that doesn't give you a right to tell me how to live my life. Erica, if you continue with this relationship, you're gonna hurt him. I mean, don't you remember what your first love was like? Yeah, it was you. Yeah, well, don't make the same mistake with Brayden. So, you're gonna sit there all day, you're gonna talk to me about what you don't want to talk to me about. How did you know? You are worse than your aunt. All right? Sit. Okay. I need your advice. About a boy. Girl talk. You want me to braid your hair? I don't think that's necessary. I have a crush on an older, gay boy. Aha. Uh -huh. Well. It was bound to happen sooner or later. Sweetie, I'm flattered. Um, it... no, it's not you. He's not that much older. I so enjoy our little talks. He's 16, and he's the Lit Magazine advisor, and he is so cute. Um, but I, I just don't know what to do. Well, honey, if he's gay, there's not a lot you can do. But is it possible that... No. But he may... Nuh -uh. He could change back? Yeah, no. It's not really a matter of change or choose. So there's no hope. Sorry, sweetie. Lost cause. But he told you he's gay. Yeah, why? It's a pretty big thing. What do you mean? Well, anytime someone opens himself up like that, making themselves vulnerable, it's a big risk. Oh. When I first came out, I was terrified. And some people were pretty unkind about it. But I would never do that. I know that. And you know that. But he didn't. 
For what it's worth, I can say with some authority that gay men make excellent friends. <laughs> oh yeah, just ask your aunt. Okay, Matt's gonna be here any minute to pick me up. How do I look? Can I talk about him? Well, of course you're allowed to talk about him. Why won't you be allowed to talk about him? Jinxing? Oh. Oh, never mind. You look amazing. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Thanks. You might want to think about changing. What do you got there? A little uh, nervous cleaning? No, I'm not nervous cleaning. You're cleaning the grout with Q-tips and bleach. Mm. Is this about Braden? No, I'm waxing the floors later for that one. I'm thinking about not going to the opening tonight. Were you afraid of facing Johnny and Mona together? She was supposed to be the girl du jour. I'm losing him, Susanna. I was six months ago, Johnny comes to me and he wants to give it another shot, and I... I chose Simon. Well, then you have to tell him. Well, I wouldn't even know what to say. I mean, please forgive me? What, I picked the wrong one? Oh, well, I mean, you could test the waters, you know, put a vibe out there, see if he picks it up. And if he doesn't? God, I used to be fearless. Yeah, well, you know, there was a time not so long ago that you accused Johnny of being too scared to step up. I'm not playing this game with you. Okay, then what about that guy over there? Or that guy standing over there? Do you think he's cute? Ew and gross. <laughs> now, your turn. Let's see. Oh, how about that guy right there? Hey, there's Cameron. <clears throat> well, um, you guys are pretty much inseparable these days, aren't you? What? I guess there aren't any girls you type in high school. Guess you could say that. Yeah. Um. I don't want to be the third wheel here tonight, so I'll see you guys Monday. <laughs> I'm glad to see you made it. Yeah, me too. Someone I want you to meet. This is Matt Carlson. This has got to be Ava. Pleasure. I've heard so much about you. Well, it's nice to meet you. I've heard so much about you too. <laughs> ah, there you are. You're starting to worry. Oh, I, I wouldn't miss it for the world. <laughs> Mona, you look beautiful. Thank you. So do you. Thank you. Ah. Uh, all right. um, well, first, I want to thank everyone for coming out tonight. And as many of you know, this place has been a dream of mine for quite some time. And to see it as the reality, uh, I've, I couldn't have done it without one person. And um, well, she taught me a lot about myself and, and how to really just go for what you want in life. And she, um, well, she's, she's pretty amazing. Um, come on up here, Mona. Get up there. Thank you. Oh, you want to add anything? Um, we also cater. <laughs> there you go. Hey, uh, D, where are you at? D5, buddy. Can I have this dance? I'm going to get into I can't take this. I'll see you I'm so sorry about all this. Look, I don't think it's a good idea that you're here right now. Uh, look, no more sneaking around. We can't see each other anymore. End of story. You can't just give up. I mean, what about fate? 
Some things just aren't meant to be. You know, if you would spend half your energy on fighting for something that you wanted, instead of fighting against it, your life would be a hell of a lot better than it is. It was a mistake. I was wrong. You, you can't pretend that you don't have feelings for me. Brayden, go home. I saw Erica last night. Don't want to hear it, Brayden. You know, I've tried my best to be your friend, your mentor, even your big brother. And you have been. Why do you think that is? I, I don't know. Because I chose to. I made a choice to help you, to protect you whenever I could. You made a choice in not telling me about Erica. And that choice has consequences that you're just going to have to deal with. Oh, uh, by the way, Surf Force called last night. They want to sponsor you. But you're on your own. I'm done with you. you like five times yeah sorry I didn't call you back I was just kind of hoping we could avoid having this conversation I can't dodge you forever I wouldn't want you to you know I always give you a hard time about being impetuous maybe that's one of the reasons we stopped dating you talk too much You sure about this? I mean, I'm not in high school. I would choose you over any high school guy any day of the week. They really want to sponsor him? Guess so. I think you should go. I mean, I can handle grades and groundings, but quite frankly, I'm nervous about this relationship with Erica. I mean, at his age, his emotions are so raw, things could really get out of hand. A month away from Erica, you know, from this town could give him enough perspective to let things cool off. It's your call, Ava. And that makes this next part even harder. I'd like you to still go with him. <laughs> what? No. Wait a minute. You got him into this. Ava, no. Jay, you can't just drop out like that. Not only for his sake, but for your own. He needs you. And you need him. I can't forgive him. No matter what happens, we're a family. Families fight, then they make up. Please just give it a month. There's a greater good here that I hope you understand. Exactly. It'll be the first time the three of us haven't been together, and I don't think we've ever not been together, have we? <laughs> well, it was going to happen sooner or later, Dee. I'll take the lead. Listen, we'll always be together. No matter where we are. I promise. Come on. I can't believe you're going. Oh, we'll be back before you know it. I don't care about that. I just can't believe you get to go. I'm the one who needs a vacation. Thanks. <laughs> I'll miss you. You're doing a good thing. Uh, hey, you better get going. Okay, well, um, call me when you get to the hotel. No, no, wait, you know what? Call me when you land first, and then call me again when you get to the hotel. I know, I'm sorry. Thank you. Uh. Hey, take care of each other. I love you.
just fill out the forms, they'll give you your badge, your schedule, they'll let you know what time you surf and in what heat you're in. Look, Jet, I never got a chance. If you need anything else, I'll be back at the hotel. This is a day. Andis! I will carry with me to the grave. I will stand in. could talk. Between you and Braden, I'd rather it didn't. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jay caught me up. Shouldn't be one hell of a trip. Yeah, well, it's either the best idea in the world or the worst mistake. Time will tell. So I noticed you left pretty early the other night. Yeah, it was crowded. You know me and crowds. I hate them. Yeah. So how are things over at Mona's? That's good. You know, there's always some adjusting to living with someone, but, uh, yeah. Well, now that Braden's left, you could, um, you could always have your old room back if you need it. <laughs> it's tempting. I'm serious, Johnny. Move back here. And the family needs... I need you. I can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't even know why I asked that. Just forget I said anything. How in the hell do you expect me to forget? Damn it, Ava, you made a choice. All right, you pick someone else. You pick Simon. And I was wrong. Yeah, well, you're too late. You asked me to leave, so I left. You pushed me to move on, to grow up, and I did. And now you tell me this? Well, now. I guess I kept looking over my shoulder expecting you to be there. And then all of a sudden you weren't. So, so this is about you wanting what you can't have? No. No, it's not like that at all. I think we need to face some facts here. We have used this relationship as a safety net. When the fact is we are just two people who've idealized what was a really, really great run nine years ago. But it is in the past. And I think we should keep it in the past. Bye, Eva.